I can't believe this is my last video before Christmas. That's crazy. Honestly, where did December go? Because actually, you know what? Where did 2017 go? You know what? I'm over 2017. We can we can go on to 2018. Even numbers, y'all. Hello everyone! I am here today to test out one of Sephora's best-selling products. This is as of right Meow when I'm filming this video, their best-selling lip product. And I've done a few videos testing out best-selling products from Ulta, Sephora, foundations, things like that, and I'm excited because I've never tried out this product before. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, let's get into this. Anyone want to take a guess at what the product is before I reveal it? Anyone? No? It is the Fenty Stenna Lip Paint in Uncensored, which is their universal red shade. It is supposed to be a high impact red shade that is going to look good on every skin tone and it's also supposed to last 12 hours so you best believe we're putting that to the test. It says on here one stroke intensity 12 hour matte wear and unrivaled precision wand. So let's take this out of the package, shall we? This is what the packaging looks like, which is gorgeous, but I actually thought this didn't look like a ton of product until I read on the website. It has four milliliters in it, and to put that in perspective, the Stila liquid lipsticks have three. So there actually is more product in here than, than I first thought. It's a beautiful red color, and it has a very interesting wand on it. All right, zooming you guys in here to see what this precision wand looks like. It's pointed, but it's also quite stubby and flat, and it's also concave in the middle, so it's going to hold on and collect a lot of product, I assume, so that you can apply the entire product in one stroke. Looks very interesting. I like a good red shade, so let's zoom in. We're gonna test this out. Okay, so I've removed all the lip balm off of my lips, and now we're gonna go in and apply this product and just see what the cap application is like, if I can apply it in just one stroke, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Oh dang Rihanna! You can see here in the application process it is very pigmented, it is going on super smoothly. I would personally prefer the applicator to be a little bit pointier for those inner inner corners. That's just maybe a personal preference thing for me. I think that the applicator worked fairly well and uh, this, this is the look that we have ended up with. I feel like I somehow drew outside of my lines of my lips. My lips look gigantic right now. The application was pretty easy, although I would not recommend trying to put on a highlight after you put on this lipstick, because that is gonna backfire on you. Or at least it did for me. I ended up with like red all up in here. I had to like redo that part. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It did apply everything in one swoop. I didn't need to re-dip the product to get more on my lips. And it is drying down now, so it's not, it's not sticky. It doesn't feel like nothing on the lips. It does feel like I have a product on my lips, but like it's comfortable though, you know? So now to test out how long wearing this product actually is. So I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna eat some lunch, I'm gonna go about my day, and I will check in with you guys at the end of the day and we'll see what this is looking like. Oh my gosh, I look like a crazy person. So the lipstick is not transfer proof, <laughs> I repeat. Not transfer proof. This has been on since about lunchtime and it is about 9.30 right now. Uh, so 12 hour wear, unless you're not eating anything for 12 hours, uh, this claim is inaccurate. Starting from after I first applied it, I was drinking coffee and water and I was noticing just a tiny little bit showing up around the rim. Not a ton, that was totally fine, not a problem. Then I had lunch, so I just had like a sandwich. That was it, like it wasn't even like a messy sandwich. You can't hold up through a sandwich then you shouldn't be saying 12 hour wear. Then I was starting to smear a little bit around the outer corners of the lips, and then I was starting to notice it was transferring to my hands and anything, anytime I touched my face at all. And then dinner, like, dinner was out. Like, I had a burger, people. Like, I was not expecting that to stay put. It is long wearing, definitely, definitely long wearing, but you do have to be careful what you're eating and how you're eating it, and you will probably have to touch it up on the inner part of the lips. Will I wear this again? Yes. Is it 12 hour wear? Not so much for me. Now I'm gonna take this off so I stop scaring small children. And that's everything for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you want to see me test out more best-selling products from the drugstore, from Sephora, from MAC, from wherever it is. I would love to hear from you guys what product you want me to test out next. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And that is everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing week so far, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you, girls. Mwah.